What's up, YouTube? It's SK Julian here, bringing you Pokemon X and Y Wi Fi Battle 29. Going up against Drago, he issued me a challenge, and I really enjoyed this battle. He's going to start off with Samurai, and I'm going to bring out my Torterra. He is going to switch because, of course, I can knock him out with one hit. He can also knock me out one hit if he has Ice Beam, but I, I doubt it. So he's going to switch in his Del Fox, and I knew he was going to switch out, so I leech hit this, this shiny Del Fox right here. And now, like, he can just stay in, switch out. It's his choice, because I know that I'm going to switch out. I'm not standing to take any kind of fire type attack. So I'm going to bring out my Auroras. Here's my special wall. Also, it has a good special attack on it. And he flamethrowers me. He gets a critical hit and he burns my Aurora. So I'm like, for reals? You just gonna burn me like that? So I was like, okay, fine. You burn me. It's whatever. I just need to set up my light screen so your special attack's not gonna do too much to me. And then I can proceed from there. So I guess he predicted me to switch out. I didn't. I used light screen, which is gonna, you know gonna help me out with this special attack in Delphos here and also this leech seated so now that the light screen is up it can't really do too much damage to me with this special attack and also I'm getting HP back even though I'm getting burned but I'm still getting HP back um look at this my Aurora was able to survive that psychic after the light screen is put up I ancient power not basically I knocked his Delphos out a lot so at least he's gonna finish him off and that's the power of light screen. Sucks that I got the burn, because if I didn't get the burn, then my Aurora would have been able to stay in a lot longer than it did. But it's going to basically be sort of a double down. So we can start off sort of kind of fresh, I'm guessing. So Drago is going to send out his Galvantula, a shiny Galvantula, and I'm going to send out Raichu. It's kind of a bad matchup for my right because you know he has a you know electric type moves. Uh, only uh, well, what I'm trying to say is my right you can't really hurt this Galvantula, so I stupidly send in my Torterra. Luckily, I was able to take the signal beam pretty pretty well. I guess this Galvantula doesn't have a high special attack, and uh, he switches out. And I'm going to leech see because I already knew, like, once his signal beam didn't do too much, I already knew right then and there he's going to switch out. So he sends out his fro fro, and my leech is going to get my HP up. I can actually stay in now. Like, his fro fro has no, I mean, it does have a chance, but it's not going to knock out my Torterra because my, my Torterra has max defense, max attack. Uh, I'm not going to outspeed it, of course, so I'm just going to curse up, meaning his headbutts are going to do less and less damage, and also I'm going to be getting HP back here. The light screen wore off, but it's fine. His special attacker is gone. So now he's going to bite me. It only does 14 damage. I'm going to curse up again. So he can stay in, he can switch out. But staying in is not going to be good for him because I'm just going to keep cursing up. And he also has his off chance of either getting hit with wood hammer or anything he brings in get hit with crunch. So he's going to switch out and he's going to bring on his Greninja. It's a shiny Greninja. Cool. I'm going to use Earthquake. And this should take his Greninja out one hit. And yes, like, that's what I was saying. Like... You let me set up, and even though my Torterra doesn't have uh, doesn't have speed, I can still hit hard with it after you know cursing up. And if you switch out and switch something in, it's gonna take you know mega damage. But anyway, he brings in his Swampert and he uses Blizzard and it misses. I did not expect Blizzard on this thing. I didn't expect for it to have a special attack which is okay, but it still missed. So I was like, okay, I don't want my Torterra to get hit with this. So I'm gonna switch out into my right shoe now. And he's gonna use a Blizzard again. It does, what, almost half? Like after Lee C, I'm pretty much brought over half. So I'm like, okay, is he gonna stay in? Cause he's not gonna outspeed me. Is he gonna stay in? I hope he stays in, but this quick claw, like, 
I don't get I don't get it. Like this is competitive. I thought people understood that quick call shouldn't, you know, be used for this kind of thing. So it, it lets him go first. He earthquakes me. I was gonna grass not him and knock him out, but that's not gonna happen, of course. So I'm gonna bring my Torterra back out. And my Torterra has decided to change up his moves. So he's using nasty plot. And he's gonna blizzard and it misses. Leech Seed is gonna damage him some more. So I have no idea why he's still staying in. And my Torterra is like, you know what else I learned in just a couple of seconds? I learned Night Days. Knocked you out. There was no way you were taking that after a plus two special attack boost. So now he's going to send in his water, uh, his water blade, excuse me, which is Samurai. And I'm going to Night Days again with my Torterra. I knocked his water blade out. He couldn't take it either. One shot it. It's gone. So now Drago is going to send out his Galvantra. I was like, okay. What are you going to do? Like, you, you saw Signal Beam didn't do anything to Torterra last time. So he uses Sucker Punch here. Does, like, 19 damage. And... What? It's not Torterra. Ah, It was like a case of mistaken identity. But anyway, it's my Zorak. I Night Days. I not out his Galvantula, of course. And... He's gonna bring out his last Pokemon, which is Frofro. I'm faster than this thing. I'm gonna Night Daze it, knock it out. Goodbye. Thank you for coming, Drago. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed this battle. I uh, could have gone a little bit differently if Drago got some of his hits in, but uh, oh well. So, thank you, Drago, for that battle. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I see that you know the subscriber count is starting to move up that means you're liking my videos so that's that's positive for me also another positive thing is i'm bringing you these videos more and more so thank you for watching have a good day have a good night also have a good thanksgiving because that's coming up sk shuyan out